So in general, how are fats and triglycerides related? Okay. So um, um, a complex question with a semi-complex answer. Okay. I'm ready right. for science part so, two. So the first thing is fats, as we talk about it now, is a, a food substance, all right? right. Something we eat for energy. Um, from the standpoint of recommendations, which I know we're going to get to, you try to eat things in the most natural form because mm -hmm. nature really does a good job in giving human beings the energy they want. But going back, fats are chemical compounds. Again, high school chemistry, long chain carbon molecules ending in what's called a fatty acid group. So fats are determined by the names based on their chemical structure. Um, when we eat fatty foods and digest them, they're absorbed as fatty acids. And there are different kinds of fatty acids, right. which I think we're going to get to saturated, polyunsaturated, mm -hmm. omega-3, omega-6s. But they're all absorbed and they're all incorporated into the triglyceride. So the fats become the fatty acids of a triglyceride, three right. on each one. Now the interesting part is I told you that a triglyceride is a three carbon sugar with a fat attached to each mm -hmm. carbon. What's called the rate limiting step, the step that determines what, what rate you make triglycerides is actually the sugar. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have the sugar, you can't bind the fats to a triglyceride. So you need the sugar. The fats are used in the liver, okay. right. So you, no, it's the sugar. So if you have, you need, you don't need sugar in your diet, but having right. said that, the, the triglyceride rate limiting step is the absorption of sugar. Okay. So if you have a lot of triglycerides, you have a lot of fat to manufacture a triglyceride, but if you take the sugar out, you can't make the triglyceride. Mm -hmm. So the fats get used. So the fats of the trigly your fats in your diet are the basis of the triglyceride, but they don't determine how much triglyceride you make. That's the sugar. Okay. So that's why we said earlier a low carbohydrate diet brings your triglycerides down. Mm -hmm. You absorb the fats, but you don't really make it into a triglyceride. It's used in the liver. Now here's the other component. Fats provide satiety. So we talked about fats, proteins, and carbohydrate, and it's fatty intake that makes our body happy and not hungry, mm -hmm. right? So if people are overweight and want to lose weight, right, it's not lowering the fat in the diet because that'll promote higher carbohydrate intake, right. which makes you hungry all the time because the hungry. carbohydrates are leading to storage of energy. So when you lower the sugar content, you're eating more fat as a percentage, mm -hmm. you're not hungry, and that's why people, that's why diets fail, usually hunger kicks in.